Hello, I am Neil Smith, the Dandy DJ from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And a few weeks ago, I totaled my van. I stupidly drove through some standing water. It hadn't been raining that hard, and the water didn't look that deep. Well, apparently in the area that I drove through, it had been raining hard. I just wasn't there when it rained hard, and the water was deep. And my van sucked the water into the engine like a straw and completely killed it. So I had to go out immediately and buy a new dandy van so I could keep serving my clients like I'm supposed to. Uh, anyway, I had a real tough time with my insurance because I towed it to a mechanic who did a great job at getting all the water out. Unfortunately, that's a bad thing for the insurance because they got all the water out and they tried to get the engine revived and they couldn't. And so uh, the insurance couldn't see any water. So they're like, well, what's going on? And unfortunately, I did not have a dash cam to prove my case. But fortunately, I did have the eyewitness accounts of all the mechanics in the shop. And they were a little sketchy on that. Uh, but the insurance did take the account of the tow truck driver, thankfully. And I did get a settlement. And I got a settlement of just $800 less than I actually paid for the van. Now, why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you all this because the lesson I learned here is get a dash cam. Okay? So that's what I did. I bought a dash cam with the very first installment of the insurance settlement. It came in two chunks. I ordered a dash cam. And uh, this one has kind of uh, mixed reviews. But I got it refurbed for about 55 bucks, and it's got an outside and inside camera, um, which is important because I want something that's not much fuss, not much muss, but will have a view out the front, then also out the back. In case someone hits me in the back, I can at least get it through the rear view window. And so what I ordered here was the cross tour. And uh, this is it, and I'm going to unbox it for you right now. I'm not going to test it out yet because I have not yet bought a memory card, but I can at least unbox it for you. So uh, let's dig into this thing and see what it comes with. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I need any special implements to get this thing open. Got a little uh, image of the dash cam here. Car recorder, all the stats there. It says to only... Uh, use a 32 gig card which is only good for a couple of hours you know it loops over itself but I've heard people say they've used larger cards and uh, I would like that so anyway we're gonna open it here Ooh, thank you for choosing cross tour and it comes with a couple of boxes here, so let's see what's what's in the big box let's start with the big box and see what we got okay well, actually, let's uh, let's go ahead and just take everything out of the larger box and set it all here. See what all we've got in the larger box. We've got ooh, a, uh, a business card of how to contact Cross Tour in case the thing screwed up or I need help, and a um, an instruction manual. Looks like probably a few different languages. This is kind of thick for an instruction manual. Well, yeah, I see a few different languages here. All right, well, let's start with the big box here. See what's in there, and uh, this feels like it's gonna probably be accessories. Let's see what kind of accessories it comes with. Uh, get that out of there. Oh, a little sticky mount, so if you wanna stick it somewhere, that might come in handy. I don't really know how I'm gonna mount this thing yet. Let's have a look here. This would be the car charger. And then it looks like it's got micro USB. You know, I'd rather see like USB C or something like that, but it's micro USB. So let's go ahead and uh, take that on out. I can show it to you a little better. Car charger, mini USB with a 45 degree angle adapter there. Let's set that aside. Sticky mount. And that's all for that little box right there. Um, the second little sticky mount, in case you screw up the first one, I'm guessing. And what is this? Oh, uh, a suction mount. 
I'm, I'm not too trusting of suction mounts, so I'm not sure. I might try to find another way of doing it because we get hot and cold, hot and cold here in Tennessee. And I don't really want my dash cam falling off the window. What do we got here? Um, oh, just a regular old USB cable. Uh, so I won't bother un undoing that one. And then finally, got something else in here. A little like a dash mount, a little, little peel and stick. And then this kind of would go on your dash or whatever else you want to really affix it to. So I'm going to have to give it some thought here. So, leaves us with just this smaller box. And this, I'm guessing, has to be the star of the show. Which means that this is a lot smaller than uh, probably anticipated, which actually is a good thing in my opinion. So uh, there we got that out, and you ready for the big unve unveil here? Dum da dum da 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 dum. And there it is, the Cross Tour GPS dash cam. So put it in my hands. So you can see how big it is, and there you go. And I don't have, ex I have you know, average sized hands, so. And then there's an inside camera right here, and it looks like that inside camera, it is maneuverable, and it has some lights on it too for nighttime. And nice little screen. So I'm not really gonna get into it uh, any more than that right now, other than to say, the GPS Cross Tour, here it is in my hand, uh, I'm looking forward to it, it, it feels, decently built. I mean, it's not built like a brick house, uh, but it, it feels decent. Now, a lot of people are uh, talking about blurry images online in the reviews. Well, there's, there's protective coverings over the lenses <laughs> that you got to remember to pull off, obviously. So I'm uh, not just saying that for your benefit, but also for mine, because I'm one of the guys that probably wouldn't do it. And also on the display screen, nice little display screen here, there's also something. So like if you had to like pull it off and show the cop like, hey look, I really didn't run that red light. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, that is the unboxing for the Cross Tour GPS dash cam. I'll do a more in-depth review, so uh, look for that. But uh, in the meantime, get a dash cam, protect yourself. They don't cost very much. I learned the hard way. Thankfully, I still got my insurance settlement, but I'm not going to make that mistake again. It would have probably shaved a good week or so off the investigation had I just had the footage. Anyway, I'm Neil Smith, the Dandy DJ from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, uh, providing DJ and photo booth services within a five-hour radius. Be sure to check out my book, Spride, Here's How to Ditch Your DJ and All Your Other Wedding Vendors Too. It's available on Amazon. Audible iTunes and Smash Words. And uh, remember, and don't ever forget, stay dandy. Oh, hey, by the way, um, one last thing. If you enjoy this content and you wish to support future content, buy me a coffee. You'll find the link in the comments or descriptions, uh, probably below somewhere, or in, uh, you know, wherever you're looking at it. So, much appreciated. Bride, it's me, Neil Smith, the dandy DJ, and I'm hiding behind this curtain because the wedding coordinator just found out about my new book. It's called Psst, Bride, Here's How to Ditch Your DJ and All Your Other Wedding Vendors Too. There's a chapter in here called Curbing the Coordinator that she's really not happy about, but there's also a chapter on, of course, ditching the DJ, vanquishing the venue, firing your photographer, even a bonus chapter on hurling the honeymoon. Anyway, before she catches me, I gotta let you know this is available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook formats on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. I gotta get out of here. I think she's on to me. Check it out. Bride, here's how to ditch your DJ and all your other wedding vendors, too. Available on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. Don't let your wedding coordinator catch you reading it.